Hey everybody, how's it going? I am your host Adrian, coming to you almost live from lovely Petaluma, California, here in Studio MC2 at Quicksurf Internet Studios. MC3, I should say, we're at the uh, new place. Uh, the Geekinator is a proud member of the Tech Podcast Network. If it's tech, it's here. Do feel free to head on over to techpodcast.com and check out all the other technology-related shows over there as well. I'd like to encourage everybody to visit us online over at quicksurf.com. Please do subscribe to the show if you have not already done so. For those of you who have, thank you for sub subscribing and, and sticking around. And with that, let's go ahead and get into some of the cool stuff that I found for this episode. Uh, the first uh, few stories that uh, I want to talk about here, they're a little bit older, but I want to bring that to everybody's attention. Uh, over at Engadget, there's a review of Apple's new Mac Pro uh, that they just recently uh, uh, announced and started selling and shipping. And um, it's, it's a long overdue update to their Mac Pro line. And so uh, this is a fairly... Um, comprehensive review and I, I've I've been holding on to the link meaning to uh, share it with everybody for a while now and uh, it's now time to do so. Uh, it's dated uh, December 23rd so about a month ago but still I think uh, just given that Apple does not update their soft their their hardware that frequently uh, at least in the pro line still germane. So definitely uh, check it out if you're in the market for a new Mac Pro, if you have not already been looking at it uh, very uh, closely. Also over at Gizmodo, this is uh, not a super recent story, but still pretty cool. Uh, Berkeley researchers create robo muscles a thousand times stronger than our own. There's a YouTube video they have up. It's pretty neat. Definitely check it out. It's uh, worth uh, taking a look at, for sure. From uh, Geeky Gadgets, you can now get the Raspberry Pi at Radio Shack. I have looked for the Raspberry Pi at my local Radio Shack and could not find it. So I don't know if this, and this was only like a week or so ago that I looked. Uh, so I don't know if it's just because they haven't gotten their stock up to date or what. But as of uh, right before Christmas, Supposedly, you've been able to get your Raspberry Pi at, or a Raspberry Pi at Radio Shack. So I may be keeping an eye on it. I'd like to pick one up at Radio Shack and kind of like do a little unboxing, what you can expect to get, that sort of thing. Uh, so definitely uh, be keeping an eye out for that. From uh, IBN or yeah, IBNLive.in.com, Google's Gmail is down for users around the world. This is uh, kind of a bad thing. Um, Google suffered a service outage on Friday that briefly took down Gmail, the internet email service used by hundreds of millions of people and many businesses across the globe. I noticed this today. It was uh, very spotty at work and. Uh, you know, uh, actually quite frustrating. So I don't know. It seemed to clear up this afternoon. So uh, Google is definitely on top of it. Uh, but uh, for those of you who were Gmail users, you may have noticed that. From CNETnews.com, the iPhone 6. Every rumor about the specs, release date, and size of Apple's next smartphone. We all know they're going to release a new smartphone. They've done so just about every year for the past several years now. Uh, so should be interesting. Um, they do have a video uh, that's basically a quick rundown of what they think they know. Um, when we should expect to get it, that sort of thing. Definitely keep an eye on this. It's a, it's a generic iPhone 6 page, so they will be updating it over time as they get information. Pretty neat. From the brisbanetimes.com.au, there's this awesome video. Bill Gates takes on Magnus Carlsen and is checkmated in nine moves. I watched this. It was great. You got to check it out. It's it's definitely uh, one of those videos where you're like, booyah, baby. You're a smart guy, but you're not that smart. <laughs> of course, I would not fare any better. I'm not saying I'm smart at all because uh, even compared to Bill Gates, I'm probably not that smart. But uh, definitely check the video out. It's pretty cool. Magnus Carlsen is the newly crowned Norwegian world chess champion. 
He played Bill Gates. He did say Bill Gates made some pretty good moves, all things considered, but he was going up against, you know, and, and made, you know, didn't play a stupid game, but, uh, you know, he was going up against a world chess champion. So it's not like, you know, uh, it's not like he was even expecting to win. And he even said that. He was like, you know, the outcome is a foregone conclusion before they even started playing. So he already knew he was going to lose. That was not lost on him at all. So I thought it was pretty interesting. Definitely uh, take a look at it. How many of you want a Tesla motor car? I know I do. They are very expensive and all electric, which means unless you can get it charged up, you know, wherever it is you happen to be going, it's kind of limited to an around town type of vehicle. But that's not stopping a lot of people and it's not stopping Tesla. Over at the Walnut Creek patch dot patch dot com, Walnut Creek dot patch dot com. Tesla Motors confirms that it is opening a showroom in Broadway Plaza. So it's uh, going to be in the soon-to-be-vacated Lacoste stores, a way to educate the public about electric cars. This is pretty neat. Uh, it will be open in two or three months in the Lacoste store, which is closing its stores on Saturday. So if you're by the time you're watching this, it will be Saturday. Uh, said the Alexis Georgeson, a spokeswoman for Tesla, said the electric car manufacturer chose the storefront near the plaza's water fountain because of the foot traffic it receives. She added that the Walnut Creek area is a solid customer base for Tesla. It's also a community interested in technology. So pretty cool. Uh, definitely check it out. I'm looking forward to potentially going to take a look at it when they get it opened up because right now the closest showroom is way down, way, way, way down, like a two hour drive for me. I live up in the North Bay, so uh, it's quite the drive for me to go to the Tesla showroom. So one in Walnut Creek is quite a bit closer. From the spacereporter.com, Opportunity discovers conditions for life on Mars. This is as of today, January 24th, NASA's Opportunity rover is celebrating 10 years since it landed on Mars on January 24th, 2004. And the rover's 24 mile journey from its landing site to the rim of Endeavour Crater, it has uncovered evidence that is helping to elucidate the early history of Mars. The latest findings have been analyzed by a team led by Opportunity Deputy Principal Investigator Ray Arvidsson of the Washington University. So according to a statement that NASA has released, Opportunity has analyzed rocks older than any others encountered by the rover. And uh, they employed an instrument on the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter that is designed to map minerals on the Martian surface. The instrument, the Compact Reconnaissance Imaging Spectrometer from Mars, began scanning the vicinity of Opportunity in 2010 and detected the signature of a clay mineral called iron-rich smectite at a site on Endeavour's rim known as Matejevic Hill. Pretty neat. So they steered the rover in a loop guided by the orbiter until it arrived at the promising outcrop. There, it had the chance to study the smectite in its proper context and determine how its location and position in the Martian geological record relate to those of other minerals and rock layers. So basically, from this analysis uh, of this new data, it indicates that a warmer that warmer and wetter conditions, uh, which uh, iron-rich smectite formed, existed before uh, Endeavour Crater was gouged out by approximately four billion years ago. So pretty neat. Definitely uh, something uh, unexpected. That you know, obviously that's the whole point of of going out and exploring is to find the unexpected. If, if you find what you expect, were you really exploring? So uh, pretty cool. Definitely uh, give it, give this uh, a check. It's, it's pretty, pretty neat. That will do it for this edition of the Geekinator. As always, everything we've talked about is linked up in the show notes, which you can find online over at quicksurf.com. Please do subscribe to the show if you have not already done so. And with that, I will see all of you on the next episode. I'll see you then. Bye.